And my top three is definitely going to surprise a lot of people. Yeah, I know I'm super late with this video, but you know, hey, life be life, man. That's all I got to say. It's still January, so I'm going to go ahead and get into the list, man. No honorable mentions. I'm going to get straight into my top 10 pickups of 2022. All right, first up, we have the Air Max 1 in that dirty denim colorway. I just thought, you know, it was dope. I like denim shoes and Air Max 1, so you put them both together. Then, of course, you know, I had to cop. I had the 12 and a half secured on Nike, which I thought I did. Then they ended up canceling my order. So I had to, you know, do my research, man, and do some work. And I was able to cop these on Dover Street Market, of all places. If you know about Dover Street, you know it's nearly impossible to cop. But luckily, these were just sitting. Nobody wanted these, I guess. I had to get a 12. 12 and a half probably would have been better, but, you know, I got the 12. I'll make it work. So, yeah, number 10. Coming in at number 9 is a shoe that I wanted, but I was patient. We had the Saucony Shadow 5000 in that patchwork colorway. So, you can see that multicolored corduroy. Like, this shoe is crazy in my opinion i know it might be too loud for a lot of people and that's cool that's why i was able to get these half off man shout out to one this boutique for that but yeah crazy shoe glad to have my collection especially for the price that i paid so yeah number nine all right number eight man uh, i couldn't decide so i just made these into a pack not sure if, if they are actually a pack but they're going to be a pack today so number eight we have the Adidas Rover and Adventure Pack. <laughs> so this is the orange or the uh, Magic Earth colorway, I believe. And then we have the blue. Like I said, I couldn't decide, man. I like both of these equally. I actually wore the blue. And um, they're comfortable. They definitely uh, make you feel like you have on platforms. So all my short kings out there, man, if y'all want a little extra height, definitely cop a pair. I will go up a half size at least, uh, maybe a whole size, but if you have some like locally, I would try them on just in case, but I went with a 12 and a half and they fit perfectly, so yeah. Number eight. At number seven, is a shoe that I never thought I would own because originally these were just a sample or PE, and um, your money had to be longer than the last 10 minutes of work. In order to get a pair. And I was like, yeah, I'm not paying that much for shoes. So luckily, Nike dropped these a day after my birthday, 2021, I believe. Or was it 2022? I think it was 2022. I don't remember, but hey. The watch to throw on LeBron Nines, dog. I think the only difference between this and the PE pair is that the bottom does not glow in the dark. But I mean, I'm not tripping. Everything doesn't have to glow in the dark. So, boom. Number seven, LeBron 9, Watch the Thrones. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Number six is a shoe that I was waiting on personally. One of the rare shoes that I actually went for on release day. And a shoe that everybody on the internet slandered. The Air Jordan 5 and that Jade Horizon. A lot of people said they didn't like them because you, they were already yellow. They called them pissy and all that, man. Like, yo. These are clean, dog. Something different, man. It's like, this colorway is crazy. If you know what you're doing, you can definitely pull a fit off. Like, don't be scared of different colors, man. Everything doesn't have to be red and black. White and red, black and red, you know what I'm saying? White, black, whatever. Branch out sometimes, man. But yeah, the, the Jade Horizon 5s. Underrated release, in my opinion, for sure. Oh, man, we're getting into the top five. And I guarantee that my top five is a top five that you have yet to see on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you've seen uh, recaps, I can guarantee you that <laughs> my top five is unique. So coming in at number five, man, we got the Rock Deep collab with Brand Fifth. 
But that M1 Trail, man. Oh my God. These, these are cold, man. I'm a Moccasin fan. You know, the Visums, they're up there, you know. I want a pair, but, you know, I'm not paying that much. So, for a fraction of the price, you get these. And they're comfortable. Can't go wrong with these joints, man. So, shout out to Rock Deep and Brand Fifth for the dope collab. Yeah, so every shoe that I show, I'm going to link the review up here somewhere. Hopefully, it, it cooperates so you can see everything. Number four is a shoe that... I didn't want originally, but then they started to grow on me. Because if you know me, I'm not the biggest fan of this type of footwear. Because, you know, I work in them. So it was like, you know, to rock them casually is like, eh. But these, I don't know, they started growing on me. And I was like, okay, I'll make an exception for these. So number four, right? So number four, we have the Yeezy Desert Boot. And the tan colorway, I think, is tan, whatever. But yeah, these, I, I don't know, man. They just grew on me, you know, looks like a combat military boot. But I like them for some reason. They run super small. I think this is like a 13. I probably could have got a 13 and a half, maybe 14. So if you're in the market for a pair of Yeezy boots, go up at least a whole size. If not, a size and a half probably would be ideal. But yeah, number four made it to the top three man and my top three is definitely gonna surprise a lot of people and that's okay <laughs> because you know i like what i like man so coming in at number three we have the yeezy 450 in that cloud white colorway and this was definitely um i don't know if you want to say impulse buy a shock drop buy I was not expecting to own these ever because, you know, when they initially dropped, everybody said they were ugly, but of course they sold out. And then randomly, I want to say Foot Patrol or maybe Foot District, they like dropped these at damn near midnight. And I was like, okay, 12 and a half too? Yeah. So to get these for retail is crazy. So these are coming in at number three on my list. Top two, top two, top two. And the, uh, the last two sneakers on this list are grails of mine. So to be able to get both of them in the same year is crazy, man. And now I'm seeing a detail that I didn't even see <laughs> before. So that's kind of crazy. But yeah, number two is the Jordan 2 Chicago, man. So if you watch my review on that, you know, like, 10, 10 plus years, man, I've been waiting on these joints. And I finally, finally got them. True OG form, from the box to the colorway to the height and everything. It's just perfect. But the, um, the little detail that I missed on my review, if you can see that the size is on the sole. Which is crazy because, like, how did I miss that during a review? Like, I guess I was just so excited to go ahead and film this joint and upload it. I forgot to add that little detail in there. But, yeah. Number two. The Jordan 2. All right. Number one. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all some time to drop what you think my number one shoe of 2022 is. And go ahead. You can do the timestamp, too, so I know you didn't cheat. So go ahead, click that timestamp, and cash your vote right now. Coming in at number one, which is crazy that I said number one. And it's also crazy that I said crazy, because we have the Adidas Crazy One, a.k.a. Kobe One, Stormtrooper. And like one and two with the whole number and all, that was not intentional at all. Like I was having a tough time with this list. I'm not even going to lie to you. So we had that Storm Trooper, man. Kobe actually wore these in the finals. And this was a grail of mine. Glad that I was able to cop these. I know a lot of people don't like them. 
which is great because it was an easy cop for me. Hopefully, I can get the, um, a couple more pairs that I was looking at. Hopefully, they go on sale since, you know, everybody doesn't like these and everything, which, you know, that doesn't mean anything these days because pretty much everything sells out regardless. But yeah, the Kobe Stormtrooper, man. My number one shoe of 2022. So yeah, let me know what you think about the the list, man, in the comments down below. If you agree, you don't agree, I'm sure you're not going to agree with pretty much everything on the list, to be honest with you. And that's cool. I, You know, I respect that. You know, my list is not your list, and vice versa. So yeah, like I said, this was a hard list for me this year. Um, I copped a good amount. So if you want to see everything else that I left off the list, this playlist right here has all my unboxings pickups reviews whatever of last year so you can go through that and see what i left off and i definitely have two more videos to film after this so go ahead click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you won't miss my next video man appreciate y'all for watching